Well, my real name is Theodore Leonsis, but forever I've been called Ted. <laughs> and my, my real last name is Leotsakos. Uh, my father came through Ellis Island as a child, and they couldn't pronounce the name, and somehow it became Leonsis. And back then, this was 1976, your vision of a computer was Hal from the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. And I, I believe there was one computer on the campus of Georgetown University. It was a IBM 360 mainframe that ran payroll and the registrar's office used it. And we then recruited a linguistics major and we worked on developing measures in which we could do comparative algorithmic analysis of work that Hemingway had done in the 30s, the late 30s, the 40s, the 50s before he took his own life and used Old Man in the Sea as a control. And so I literally went to this IBM 360 mainframe computer and had to transcribe and type in the first 5,000 words or so from all these different pieces of work. And then a linguistics major helped me to come up with these measures, words per sentences, sentences per paragraph, um, pronoun references, and, and we programmed it. And, and we asked the computer, when was this book written? Um, well, what again, with AOL, I think it was combining this populist notion that if you could make really complicated things accessible at a low price and take the complexity out of it, let's get America online. That was the, the big idea um, that that there'd be this thing called the internet, but there was something magical in getting people connected to computers. And back to that vision of, um, is it a computer or a television? Um, well, entertainment would be delivered online, and utility like mail and messaging would be delivered online. And frankly, anything that you could do offline you should be able to do faster, better, more efficiently, maybe even with more enjoyment in the I'm in the business of making lifelong memories. What other business can you be in that you make a grown man cry 40 years after the fact? That social responsibility of the positive bonding memories between fathers and sons and mothers and daughters and friends and communities is enormous. And so I, I view what I do with stewarding and owning the teams as being like being mayor of your city or, I mean, it, it has a much richer, higher calling than just wins and losses or ratings, points on televisions, or the number of tickets that you sell.